All right, so because of the location of where the shavings were at on the baffling, as I will show you right here, see all these little pieces? So everything in the actual cylinders looks good. And I'm like, man, you know, this whole thing rotates properly, but there's something a little weird about it, especially with this amount of material right here. So, as I said earlier in the video, I was going to go ahead and check this to make sure that uh, the bearings weren't shot. And as you can see right here, you see how this bearing is just absolutely scorched right here. Well, we also have the problem of this has definitely had uh, where this, I mean, this would, is basically what would cause rod knock right there. So I don't know how great a condition this actual uh, crankshaft is. They can always get resurfaced at least a little bit. But, I mean, holy smokes. Somebody definitely toasted a bearing on this. I'm going to guess that this was used as somebody's drift block at one point in time. Everything else seems pretty, uh, seems pretty tight. Um, and that's not necessarily ideal. There's definitely been some material that's kind of gotten in the oil galleys and such. Um, the, piss the block itself seems like it's fine but I definitely worry about this crank. Especially with, I mean, look at the clearance on that. <laughs> That's pretty huge. So I guess that I am gonna have to go a little more in depth in rebuilding this, unlike what I said earlier in the video. Um, this is probably the biggest reason why people are always told to run accumulators if you do any drifting at all um, with a VH block. And it's not necessarily that there's anything totally wrong with um, this block's oiling so much as it is its front sump. You pitch the car into the corner, everything, all the oil gets quickly pumped up top. And uh, really you need the oil to be further back because that's where all the g-forces are kind of going and it's not really like there's trap doors um, in the stock style pan at all but let me go ahead and grab another pan uh, I will show you what the stock pan looks like and uh, we'll go from there